What's up guys, welcome back to Android app development tutorial for beginners. This is one and only Shrakes from Smarthead. Now in this video, I will show you the demo application for what we discussed in the previous tutorial. So let's not waste time and quickly jump on to our Android studio. So here in the Android studio, let us create a project. Now from next video onwards guys, I am not going to create a new project again. I will straight away jump onto the Android studio and show you the codes directly, right? Because it takes a lot of time to create a new project and do the things again and again. Right? So hit on next, again next. Let us simply select this empty activity. So let's select it and click on next. Let it be default one, hit on finish. So here our project has been built. Now guys, when you create a project and you face such messages like rendering problems, then please don't worry about it. Simply go to your build and click on rebuild project. So soon after some time, the error message that you were watching here will be gone. Now here in front of us is activity main.xml and main activity.java. Now make sure you are working under the project hierarchy. So simply expand it. This is our application source main Java and here comes our main activity dot Java. Now inside the resource file under the layout, we are having activity main dot XML. So let us create our first layout. Now, since this is a hello world by default text present in front of you, simply right click on it and simply delete it, right? So it is going to delete the text view which was created by default with our hello world application. Now on the right hand side of the screen you can see the component tree. Now this component tree will show you what are the views or what are the widgets that you are currently having on the screen. So this relative layout is currently blank. Now guys what this relative layout stands for please don't worry about it. I will discuss about this relative layout in detail in our upcoming tutorials. Now. On the left hand side is our palette. So let us find the button. Now this is our button. Simply do one thing guys, simply drag it and drop it. Right? Let us drag and drop it at the center. Pretty simple. Now this is our first button that we have dragged onto our screen. So let's do one thing guys. And also notice on the right hand side you can see under the component tree, you can see the relative layout containing the button having the text new button. Now let's do one thing guys. Let's right click on the button and simply go to go to declaration. After clicking on it, you can see there are two tabs design and text. So currently, so design tab will show you the design of your screen and the text tab will show you the codes, right? Now guys, again, whatever codes you are watching in front of you, please don't worry about it. It's pretty simple. I will declare each and every code in detail in the upcoming tutorials. So let us assign this button an ID. Now already we are having the Android ID attribute as add the red plus ID slash button. Now this button guys is actually user defined. You can change it. Let's say B first button, right? Now guys, this ID button is going to help us to distinguish between two different buttons present inside the same layout. So just I have given it a name B first button right now. This is the text guys. Let us remove it and let's name it as my first button. Pretty simple right now. Our next step is to go inside the main activity.java and write codes here. Now guys, let us first change this to activity. So let's type ACT. Now guys, you don't have to type each and everything here. While typing, you can see the options right downside. So these are the list of options. So let's select this activity, double click on it. Yes, and you can see one package has been imported Android app dot activity. So let us now remove this unused import of action bar activity, which is actually gray in color. Fine. Now let us remove the unwanted codes. Let's remove it. Pretty simple. Now guys, let us define our button. Let's write private button. Yes. Let's say M. 
first button right fine now inside our on create method let us initialize our button let's say first button equal to let's say find view by id f i n d now here comes our find view by id let's hit enter now as a parameter it actually takes the resource id which is actually the integer variable so let us define the id of the button let's say r dot id dot b first button now guys there is an issue there is some error now how to solve this error so as i told you in the hello world tutorial whenever there is any error simply press alt enter now if you press alt enter it is going to show you the possibilities how to rectify the error so the first one is cast to android widget button so simply double click on it and here we go this is actually the view object and we are going to cast that view object into what into our button which is the subclass of our view right now now guys this b first button is nothing but the id of the button which we have defined inside our activity main.xml this one this id b first button right so in this way guys we are correlating our main activity dot java and activity main dot xml now guys our next step is to implement our on click listener implements space capital o n c yes now all these possibilities you can see right here now let's let's scroll down side and you can find here on click listener now guys take some precaution as there are two on click listener one on click listener has the import package of dialog interface and one click listener and another on click listener is having the import package of android view dot view so so the first on click listener is actually belongs to dialog which we are going to see in our upcoming tutorials as of now we are only concerned with this view button on click listener so double click on it yes here we go now as i told you guys now guys in java when we are implementing any class when we are implementing any interface then it is the rule that we have to implement all the methods present inside our on click listener so so as i told you to rectify any error simply press alt enter yes so here comes the possibilities implement methods simply click on it click on okay and here we go one method has been created in front of us on click method now this method is actually present inside our on click listener we are just overriding the methods of our super class fine this is our super class and this is the method present inside our on click listener right now guys our next step is to provide our first button with a listener let's say set on click listener right this is our click listener click on it yes as a parameter it is actually going to take the context now the context will be the context of this subclass main activity so simply type main activity dot this right so our codes are now complete now our next step is to write the log statement so let's type log dot d hit enter now let's type our tag fine now the tag i have not created as of now guys so please don't worry let's say first button clicked this will be our message now since i have typed a variable which i have not declared in our main activity java file so let's do one thing guys let's again press alt enter and here are the list of option create constant field tag create class tag whatever blah 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 so so let's do one thing guys let us create constant field tag simply click on it yes here we go private static final string tag equal to let's say main activity dot class dot get simple name right so this completes our code now our next step is to run our application and let's see our first application with our buttons so simply run it so here our application is again now up and running now let's check our log cat let's copy the package name control c and let's create our log filter yes let's see now let's name it as button test 
our application name hit on ok now here we go now let's do one thing guys let us now click on this button and let's see what output we are getting inside our logcat let's click on it here we go first button click here we go our output is right in front of you again click on it again click on it 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 yes our output is getting in front of you printed in our logcat now guys this is all for this video this is just a basic concept behind the first method of our button click listener now in our next video i will drag and drop another button right here and will show you how to distinguish between two different buttons in our same layout so we will continue this discussion in the next video meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to this channel and support us in a way you can thank you